Do you suffer with self-doubt and insecurity and you feel that you're not prepared for the calling that God has placed on your life? If so, this video is for you. I can help you because I felt the same way too. I created this video because I am a pastor's wife and for so many years I felt insecure about my role because I'm very introverted. I'm a little different from the average pastor's wife. So for many years, I felt that I wasn't a good pastor's wife because of my personality. I had a lot of things that I was battling with, self-doubt, insecurities. In this video, I'm going to talk about 15 things I wish I could tell my younger self before becoming a pastor's wife. It's okay if you're an introvert. God has special things for you. It's okay if you're different. Don't judge yourself by looking at others. Be yourself. Don't allow people to push you into roles that you're not comfortable in. You will step out of your comfort zone when it's time. You don't have to be a preacher or a teacher. You will influence people just by your behavior. All pastor's wives are not the same. It's okay if you don't like to wear hats, long skirts, Create your own identity and style. You will find your place. Just give it some time. Step out of your comfort zone. That is when you will find your superpower. When you face your fears, you will be set free. Stop doubting yourself. You are so much stronger than you think. You may not feel comfortable doing things in the services, but keep doing it. Just use all the gifts that God has given you. It will bring deliverance to you. When you try to help others, that's how you free yourself. Trust God more than yourself. God has a special place for you. Wait on the Lord. Let Him direct you. You don't have to be perfect or have a clean past. God accepts you as you are. Focus more on your behavior. That is what makes you stand out. Your household is your number one ministry. Take care of your children. Make sure that their needs are met. Protect your home. Protect your children. Keep your home private. The Holy Ghost will teach you all things. Just listen. Always practice self-care. In order for you to be a good wife and mom, you have to make sure that you have a healthy mindset. You are doing things that you love. Find a hobby. You love to read. Start doing it again. Spend time alone with God. You will need Him more than you think. Ask God for wisdom and discernment. Pay attention. Learn to recognize God's voice. Listen. You will need a mentor. Have you battled with insecurity, self-doubt, or fear in your past? If so, leave a comment. It may help someone else that's struggling with the same thing now. If you have some issues that you are dealing with as a Christian wife or a mom or anything to do with self-development, schedule a free consultation with me on Canterly. I will have all the information in my description box below. If you like my message and you just want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.